What's up, Mayhem family? We are back, and I don't just mean right here at Mayhem. I mean, we're back at in-person competitions starting this weekend at the MAC. We're gonna take you guys along behind the scenes on the competition floor and everything in between. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, you're gonna wanna do that now. Daily recaps, podcasting on site, and then of course, we're gonna recap all the action after the weekend has concluded. I don't know if you guys can smell that. A little bit of fear, a little anticipation. It is go time, baby. Let's head to Knoxville. Excited to compete this weekend? Yeah, I am. It's been a while since I've competed with a team. So. It's been a long time, actually. I think games. 2018. Are you, are you excited to compete in front of people for the first time in like over a year? Um, I mean, I did uh, the fittest experience, so yeah. I dipped my toes in the water a little bit in January. But uh, yeah, I'm excited for like some friends and family are coming, so yeah, they haven't cool. seen me compete in a while. Awesome. It's fun. When was the last time you competed the first time? January 2020 at Wadapalooza. Oh, I forgot we did that. Oh, I was wrong then in my interview. Yeah, I have competed since the games. You did what? I forgot we did that. You we know? got two. Oh, we had two sanctionals in last year. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Ye
doctors are in there, and it's usually like four or five people. Hi. Hey. Hey, what's going on? We're just talking about Finland. Okay. There's like four or five people in here. Oh yeah, I got you. Four or five people in here, and then they talk through this thing, and they can put the vitals up, and like have it do different sorts of um, like disease presentations, basically. And we have to work as a team, kind of like it would be like in a ER or like primary care. So we have setting to and figure out what's going on and how to treat it. Do you get more nervous for a CrossFit competition or a PA exam? I haven't been at a CrossFit competition in, what, over a year now? So okay. I'll let you know. Um, I don't even think I get nervous anymore. Really? Yeah, for anything. Good. <laughs> You're just an academic weapon right well, now? we have like three exams a week. So oh, okay. So you kind of get like, if you got nervous every exam, you'd be so overstimulated. Yeah. You'd just be way too much up and down. So, you know. Uh, Makes sense. I I get nervous. Okay, I get nervous when I see some of the crazy things that rich programs for us to do on a daily basis. That's what makes me nervous. These problems are like not even that bad. <laughs> Just another day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When I interviewed for school, um, one of the biggest things uh, that they that we had to talk about during my interview was that if I wanted to start PA school, I'd have to like um, allot my time correctly. And basically, they were implying slash strongly suggesting that I wouldn't be able to do CrossFit anymore. No more competing no more training, um, just because it really does take a lot of time and most people wouldn't be able to do both things and get good grades at the same time. So I was pretty much uh, retired when I got into the school, but then this opportunity popped up and I decided to try to give it a try and That's crazy. got everything authorized. I had to like reach out to my old boss and like have him write a letter, write a, write a letter of recommendation like saying, hey, she like juggled a, a job the whole time she worked for me doing this CrossFit stuff, like she can do this. And, um, obviously I have to keep my grades like really really good or else they'll say hey you can't have this time off for the games or else you get kicked out. This is, this is, this is to be intimidating at check-in. Yeah. <laughs> what are you looking at? Looking at me? Huh? Looking at me? <laughs> we lost us or we lost them? Yeah, it's fine. Is it worth first try? Yeah, on accident. <laughs> Took me a while to get here. <laughs> Oh, this is for your wife. You've probably been to a concert last week. Uh, I, I mean, I've been to a concert here, but never okay. like. Cool place. There he is. What's up? It's a big order of pants. Look at you. Come here. Good, dude. Okay. Good. Hey, Thank you. What's up? 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 Oh, Are you here for athlete check and Pedro? Yeah. Does it say coach on it? Yeah. Or no, wait. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I feel so official. And they'll be excited. <laughs> they're like, Tasia, stop. I'm like, yeah. Where's I, AJ? I think you've been here before. I know, right? Exactly. I think you've been here. So what about coaches? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sure. Yeah. Basically anything we get presented. Give me all the backpacks. <laughs> coach. 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 Coach is here. Coach. You ready? Find the zipper. Find the zipper. Find the zipper. More ready than Let's play again. That's for sure. Rookie over here. <laughs> Darren didn't give me any notes, okay? I've got nothing to, to rely on here. I'm not going to share my notes either. I'll have to call him tonight and get the playbook. The playbook, okay, well. <laughs> that's where you're already making that's mistakes, so. That's cool. How does this compare to, like, setups at regionals? I, just, I think this is probably cooler than any regional that I ever went to as far as venues go. This feels more like, a, for me, like an invitational setup. I mean, yeah. this looks... I mean, it's cool in there. It's a, I mean, it's not a professional basketball stadium, but it, it's nice. I mean, it's Power 5 D1. So I know, right? I'm impressed. Like, I've, I've been in here for, actually, for a George Strait concert, but I've never been in here for a, any type of sporting event. But I'm, I'm impressed. It's going to be cool. It's going to be uh, good motivation to work out fast, do fitness fast, you know? Yeah, we have a lot of people from our gym come in and family and things like that. Does it make it more exciting once you actually see the venue like that? Oh yeah. Yeah, we haven't seen that in a year. Yeah. So yeah. You excited to throw it on in front of actual people instead of just like yeah. virtually or? Yeah. It's 
setup, but as far as like an indoor setup, we haven't seen that since like France. <laughs> Perfect. We missed it the first time, you gotta get another one, you know? <laughs> a little closer. <laughs> yeah, a little closer. Those, those <laughs> I'm good. I set my staff over my And he has it. You gotta <laughs> slow mo the sound <laughs> yeah. effects on that one. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's gonna be cool. I think it's I think it's a cool venue. Um, it's probably one of the better venues I've seen. I was excited that it was gonna be here. So yeah, just watching me drink. Are you excited to be in that venue specifically? Are you kidding me? I think it's a cool venue. Did you see that thing? It's like an NBA venue. Yeah. Hey, you think you can hit a 300 pound snatch in there? <laughs> you missed it. I mean, ben Ben asked me a few days ago with the camera on me. He said. What's your PR? And I was like 285. And then he's like, you know, like, what's your all-time PR? And he's like, are you gonna PR? And then Rich walks by and goes, he'll hit 300. And I was just like, he spoke, <laughs> he spoke into existence. <laughs> it's happening. So that's how I feel right now.